Grandchild of DCF. John Walsh sells his granddaughter to DCF. Once again, I get questions as why didn't you go and get your own daughter? Why didn't you save her from DCF? I did go to court in Indian River County. I made a motion to take my daughter immediately. And I also made a motion for a DNA test. My motions were striked because I found out that Megan was currently married to a guy in India. Have you ever put your daughter's name on any other properties that you own? Megan Walsh. No, man. Okay. And one of the things that you're asked asking for reimbursement is housekeeping, correct? Was what took to keep the place clean and sanitary for the three children living there. Uh, it's storm show. Ay, it's storm show. AK Jepito Jackson. Um, you know, I'm actually just graduated from rehab for alcohol. You know, I'm congratulations. I have, you know, I have over a year sober and clean now, and changing my life around. You know, I have I have a a lot behind my background. If you look me up, but nobody's perfect, and we take it day by day to change and become a better person. So easy does it. You know. All right. Well, I actually do music. My name is as again. My name is Andre Van AK Jepito Jackson. Uh, you probably heard of me of being Jermaine Jackson's secret son and close to the Jackson family. Family, um, you know, a lot of allegations flirting in the air, but I have love. They've done everything. Jermaine is my everything mentor, you know, whatever you guys want to call it. And um, I guess I just had a number one album called Jermaine-ish uh, that was on iTunes last month. It went number one on iTunes and it's all because of the supporters. The view now is where John Wall, she basically left my grandchild in uh, CP, uh, CPS, DCF. He left her there, you know, and yeah. people like, people are like, why didn't you go get your own kid? And that's why I'm taking these interviews now, because I actually didn't. I'll start from the beginning. Um, when I, I was in, incarcerated from 2017 to 2021, when I got out, you know, that, that situation is, came from me doing business contracts wrong. I take partly my, my wrongs. I'm not going to make any excuses for that. And I had to learn my lesson how to do business right and go through recovery for the greed of money. And when I got out, I, that's when I actually met Megan. When I met Megan, his daughter, and I didn't Megan, know. And Megan is John Walsh's daughter. So, by the way, everybody, John Walsh from, you know, y'all remember his story back in the day. His son got kidnapped, and then he created the whole show about kidnapped children and kidnapped people. And I think the programmer used to come on, what, maybe, what, Friday nights, Saturday nights? And, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they would have the dramatizations, and they would show the sketches, and it would be, if you've seen such and such, call this number. His most wanted, and I'm John Walsh. And so... Yeah. You ended up actually meeting his daughter, Megan. Megan, yeah. yeah. And at the time, we, you know, I was fresh out. Um, yeah, I got invited to go to Vero Beach. We met through a mutual friend, and we kind of met each other. Um, she was telling me what she was going through prior with her father, um, that he took her other children, and I was there for her to help her. In the midst, we started dating and that's when I she got impregnated by me, and from there we. So, we let me, so hold on, let me ask you: How many children does Megan have all together? All together, she has four, including mine. Like she has yeah. so four total. And and does she have custody of any of them? None now, absolutely none. Wow. Okay. Yep. And the accusations were this: like the accusations that she was on drugs, and you know she was not keeping the house to a certain circumstance, and. The kids were telling, said, told uh, John certain things, which I can't speak for that part because I wasn't around her at the time when the first three got taken at okay. the same time. I wasn't around for that. But when I came around, you know, she was already still going through the court. They were still letting her get visitations with the three other children. When she had my child, the, five days old, they took um, baby, what's her name? Is Esther Grace Walsh, my daughter. They took baby Esther five days old and took her out of the house and brought her straight into foster care. 
away from her because she was fighting the other case. Because and she was fighting I, the other case. Now, now a lot of people, well, people that's new to the channel don't know, but the people that's been on my channel, they do know. I used to work for DCS as well in Arizona, though, not, not the state of Florida. Mm -hmm. So I know a little bit about how stuff goes down. I've seen some success stories, and I'm not going to lie to you. I've seen some people absolutely get railroaded. Like, yeah. I always tell people, if you can keep your kids out the system, that's the best thing you can do. Exactly. That's the that's the best thing you can really do, man. And from there, um, I, I took it amongst myself. I went to Ender River, River County to actually go get my kid. I filed a motion to take her immediately and uh, strike a motion in the court to, I mean, they strike the motion because they said that Megan was currently married to a guy that was in India mm. um, and, and he they didn't get a divorce yet. He was gone three. He was gone three for three years. He hasn't been back in the United States, and he wouldn't answer her. She filed the paperwork. He wouldn't answer. And when I went to court, they said they they couldn't give me a DNA test or let me take Esther because in Florida, if if they're married, the father, um, the baby goes on the father's birth certificate. Oh, automatically. So he was a legal. He was a legal father because she was still legally married. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So now you see she now she's going to court. She, she's a loving mother. Like she loves the children. There's no I, person I've seen fight harder than Megan, like for her children. And I'm not saying that because she's um my child's mother, but she works so hard, man. And she on every platform for stopping human trafficking. Like she's she's a, a nationalist. Like she's really, really smart. And like I told her, like she when she went to court to fight for the last one, John Actually, I reached out to John and his lawyers, and they were trying to make it see. I let them know that I was in a recovery house. I was getting my life together before I graduated. And if people want to see my graduation footage of my speeches online, you can see me graduating from the recovery. I saw house. on your TikTok. Yep, saw on yeah, your yeah, TikTok. Yep. Yes, yes. You know, I graduated and gave a nice little speech. And from there, when I got out, he, the case. So now, basically, they have it where she basically can't get any of the kids back until they're 18 because in her last court case, when she went to trial, they terminated all rights to all the kids now. So now Esther's with the state. So now it's me versus the state. Okay. Yeah. So what, what year did you meet Megan? I met Megan in 2021. Oh, you met her in 2021. And then what year was uh, Esther born? Esther was born in 2022. So she was born the very next year. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I don't know the state laws of Florida, although I can go look it up after we get yeah, through yeah. Uh, recording. But I know in Arizona, if a mom has an active case, we didn't automatically take the new baby, but the baby was automatically in the system as well. Mm -hmm. So normally the protocol is that as long as like the mother, well, I, I have to ask, did the mom use alcohol or drugs while she was pregnant? No, she didn't at all. They they didn't they 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 said that she would but she had a med medical marijuana card they okay. the judge was telling her that he didn't want her to do that also but that wasn't be considered a drug because she has cancer on her nose so if you see like her nose the scar I saw that. Her, yes yeah like yes. she has cancer on her nose so she takes that for her her scar and her med in her medicine so i don't i don't see that as considered as a drug so anything else that they apply to the courtroom i wouldn't be able to see the documents because those documents are private between john walsh and his daughter so I was never able to acquire those documents that were gotcha. exactly what was going on. Gotcha. Gotcha. And and I'm just I'm just like, wow, that's very extreme because I'm like the, the typically the protocol is there would be a new case manager assigned or or even the same ca case manager. But it would just be a new case that's open and then they would just monitor the mother and the new baby. And if they uh -huh. didn't need to remove the new baby, there would be no need to. Exactly. We've had moms like that where like they may have a six-year-old in care and a 10-year-old in care, and they may not even get them back, but they keep the new baby because nothing's, like, there's no issue. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So it, it's, it, it would make me think, because I've seen this behind the scenes, that somebody with some money or a lot of pull pulls some strings for them to just, like, terminate all the rights. Like that. Yeah, that's, that, that's ridiculous, man. You know, and it's like, I see it as, like, my problem with John was this. You take the other kids, you put them on an island, you have an island where you, this is where you, like, you have a, like, it's a huge island. He lives on Vero Beach. You have the island, you have all the rest of her siblings, my daughter's siblings, 
but you put my daughter in foster care when you have the financial state in mind. It's not like I don't want my daughter. Like I do want my daughter, and I've and I've showed nothing but greatness reaching out, going to courts. This is all facts. They they know it. And for you just to leave her there, and you say this is this is the place where she, I think that fits her the best. Like that didn't make any sense to me. When you want the rest of them, and you but you're out here fighting for everybody else's cases and children and but you leave my daughter <clears throat> in foster care so you Pretty believe so, so so let's just put it out there do or are we are we putting on record that we believe that john walsh put baby esther in foster care because she's half black i in my in my eyes i believe i believe it i believe it like and because i feel like it's going against the grain and megan has told me certain things about her father that let's hear it let's hear it because yeah, the people need to know yeah they, they were saying that he he was writing real racist things in his notebook and his journal in high school like she has you know proof of that all the stuff she was showing me she has a lot of stuff stuff from him and she said she said her father was a racist john walsh has how many kids three or four it's it's adam <clears throat> rest in peace adam that was the first that was the story about adam before okay. he got the show then it's megan then it's callahan his other son I've seen and him, then, yes. And then, and then it's Hayden. And then Hayden at the very end. Okay. So out of all of those, do any of them have kids of mixed race? No. Okay. So there were, his rebuttal may be, well, my daughter was married to an Indian man, but her and that Indian man didn't have any children, correct? Um, No, Jack Jack had a... Jack is... Baby Jack is... If I'm not mistaken, I don't want to say correct. I think that's the Indian baby. I think Jack is the Indian baby, but they had to take Jack because it wouldn't have made sense after all, after all, but she has another one too. She has a baby by Kanye West's best friend too. So, um, now where is that baby at? The thing as well as keep respect for the fathers, no matter how they're involved in this, they are all different fathers. So they all have different takes on this. Unfortunately, my daughter's father is, you know, being used and he took the bait and my, Parents are using him, and and that, and that would be will who? Have... Maga Jackson. No, my daughter's okay. father, and okay. I'm going to leave the names out for that. I mean, the yeah. people know the other two. Um, my two of you know Esther's father is Maga Jackson, and Arlo's father is Warren Trotter with uh, Kanye West. But um, um, that's with John on on, a, on an island with John. What? Hmm. I think after that one, he was just like, you know, okay. Because at the time, John knew, like, with Kanye and that respect level, it was just a different type of essence then when she had the ba baby Arlo. That's his name, Arlo. Baby Arlo was at the time. And okay. and I feel like he took that as, like, okay, Megan, you know, it's not like it's one of these people out here. But for the history of me, because he knew that this is, what I, this is how I take it. I feel as if he knew that he had to deal with me one-on-one. -on -one. Say, for instance, he took Esther. He would have to go to court with me. But, and if he went to court with me, he didn't want that type of energy of the social media plastering this guy with this guy. You know, when he's trying to get his career back together. So he put it in my hands to be like, okay, I'm going to do this. It's you versus the state now. So he, this is why I'm coming out and speaking because I have to clear it up because they're like, okay, well, if you don't fight to get your daughter back, then both of you gonna uh, look like a piece of crap. Like even though my daughter can't get Esther back for till she's eighteen, unless she doesn't get to the appellate lawyer, right? Then, then basically, you we're gonna see what you do, Mister Geppetto, Andre. We're gonna see what you do, because and if I don't fight and try to get her or make it huge and for and known for people to know what's going on, I have no fight. Especially out here in Florida, it's different out here in Florida. It's real hard. It is. Tell us a little bit about it, because I've never lived. I've lived in Georgia, but I've never lived in Florida. I mean, first of all, number one, like it's going to be hard for me to get this DNA test because his hands are still in the pot. They're saying so. When when I got when I went before, they struck the motion. Now both of them are off the birth certificate as parents. So now I have to find an actual lawyer that wants to take my case because every lawyer I call in the state of Florida, they are scared of John Walsh. Wow. They don't want to take the case. They, they, they said it's an issue with um, taking a case, you know? So they're like, man, you we don't we don't want to take this case at all. We don't want to do anything. Uh, we don't, or they're making an excuse like, oh, 
uh, where we got too many cases right now. This is going on. I'm called the best of the best out here in Florida, and I get the same answers every single time. They don't want to go. They don't want to go head to head with him. And you know, and a lot of people watching this may or may not understand. Like when it comes to courts, like celebrity means a lot. Money mm -hmm. goes a very long way. We may think like, oh, okay, these two attorneys are going at it in court. You know, the judge, they're striking down this and striking down that. Then people go to lunch together. They go to dinner. They play golf together. So a lot of times you you really don't truly have anybody on your side. When you exactly. Go you don't. You don't have any. And then because of my background, you know, like from everything I've been through, if you Google my name, you'll see scam this, scam that, and incarcerated. I went through a lot of putting myself out there, leaving Hollywood and, you know, the, the, the greed of money led me down dark paths. And I had to realize that money wasn't everything. And some of the things that's online is true, but a lot of things I've, I've been, of course, attacked by others because they wanted to either be in a relationship with me or, you know, it just got kind of weird, but that was the tactic. Like, okay, this is online about you. So how could we, every time I went to go do business, I had to explain myself. So when the people first get an insight, when you look up Andre Van Geppetto Jackson online, you're like, oh, my God, he's a monster. Like, did you see what they said about him? You see, he took this money, he did that. And they don't understand, you know, as a young person, I didn't know. I knew how to get everybody to a room and all the right people to the room, but I just didn't know how to close it. And I was just so infatuated about money. And, you know, it, I, it, and it was a disease. And an addiction that I couldn't understand it was, then that's why I went to rehab and I graduated from there and I understood it. I used the tools to understand. And now that I'm sober and clean, I'm in a state state of mind where I'm I'm striving to become righteous. Because you know, actually, as I would say, addicts, we don't we don't ever truly recover. We just we take it one day at a time and we gotta stay in focus of taking these programs and, and utilizing them like AA meetings and different things to walk the straight path. And that's why I said I got to do this for my daughter and my kids. And, you know, for show I, I won't allow people to continue to use that slander to tell me who I am today. Yes. And that's why I'm standing for something righteous today by fighting for my daughter and making it known and addressing stories that mean something instead of just trying to go viral on something. And, and, and hopefully people will be inspired that are going through the same things that I'm going through in the court system and we can all step up together and and make it nationally known what's going on. Let, let me ask you this. I saw a little conspiracy that mm -hmm. said that his son wasn't really kidnapped. Adam, is that is that true? I don't know about that, man. I, I talked to Megan about that and she's just like, these people just come. She's been having weirdos come to her and tell her that she's that he's their Adam and this is and that. But we didn't have a serious conversation. And I was like, no. Like, okay. I, I believe that actually happened before what I can't really say or not. Like, I don't know what the reasons for it's a lot of stuff that she doesn't know as a kid because she was just, you know, Adam died and she was a baby. She was the next one. So it was just like, what was the reason? What was his hands? And did he did he owe somebody? Was it, you know, was he part of something like it's a lot of questions that come up? You know, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, I mean, as we can see with what's going on with Diddy and you know, Epstein went down and Weinstein. Like, you can put your skeletons in a closet, man, but eventually they're going to fall out. They're going to come out, you know, and people are starting to be aware. Like, he's trying to go and do commercials and fight all these other cases. But the main question is, John, why are you doing that? Like, why are you not, why are you not even reaching out to me? You should be proud of me. Like, you know, as a person, it'd be like, even if I had the history, I know you have somebody watching from a distance. I graduated from... The recovery house of Central Florida six months and it was a hard a lot of people do not do that. That's a hard task, man. It yeah. really, really is hard. And I was like, for you to see that from a distance, we don't have to have a personal relationship, but why wouldn't you want my daughter to know her other family members and the people that are on my side and us to, you know, to be able to to fix these wounds because you don't want it, like especially your daughter. This is your daughter. This is like your daughter. You you nurture her. If you if you know that your daughter has all these issues and problems. Why are you basically just pushing pushing her away and not grabbing her clothes? Is there anything else that you want us to know before we leave off from, from this episode here? Well, I would say this. we The episode two is going to come, but we got a lot of things to talk about with this 
Oh, I'm gonna save it. I'm, you know, I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna let you. Okay, you will save it. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. Be better, better be a surprise that way. But you know what we got coming. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Uh, it's storm show. Hey, it's storm show.